Last week on the season. In the beginning, it was hard, you know, but coach told me, he got me on the side, told me, you know, this is what I wanted as a freshman, you know. Freshmen all have to pray to Christ, you know, because you have to learn the game. Well, coming into the LSU game, it was really week two of the SEC grind, week two of nine. Uh, the most important thing coming off a, a hard-fought loss on the road was to get home, protect your home floor, regroup a bit. I think we've had three overtime games, two have gone against us. It was, uh, it was good to see us finally win one of those. When I stop running is when I get tired. Ah, out of here. I sit by 105 degrees. So we had a number of, uh, of untimely, uncharacteristic mistakes down the stretch, which could have cost us, but thank goodness we were strong enough, tough enough to, to get one last defensive stop. Much like the LSU game, just like the South Carolina game, now we finally got those stops, which enabled us to get two huge wins. Anytime you go on the road, we were coming off a good road win at South Carolina. So uh, anytime you can break through on the road, I think it gives your guys confidence that if we stay to the approach that we took from the last game and executed our game plan, we would have a chance. We knew going in there, we had success last year. Not many teams do. I think it's the first time in the history of our program that we've won back-to-back -back games in Memorial Gymnasium. A year ago, Marshall Mania started here at Memorial when Henderson knocked down a buzzer beater and Ole Miss snapped a six-game losing streak in Nashville. Tonight, the rematch. Ole Miss and Vandy starts now on CSS. situation and then the fancy finish. Moats had it poked away from behind. And the basket by Newby and a quick run here by the Rebels as they jump out to a six point lead in the corner. And there's Ladarius White. Snoop White banks it in. Eight point lead for the Rebels. We just took the, uh, we took the momentum. You know, at first they had momentum and, and they went on their run and the crowd got into it. and. We was like, man, we can't lose this game. We gotta stay together and, and make plays and, and win this ball game. And, and that's what we did. We made plays. Perez. That's a three-pointer. The Rebels, a balanced attack so far, but they are playing very well here in Nashville. He misses the tip in by Aaron Jones. Rebels getting production on Asaiz, Anthony Perez, Aaron Jones. All oh, their big guys. Nice job here tonight at Memorial Gym. And Perez with a strong finish on the other end. Ole Miss pushing it down the court. Ole Miss in charge here, up by 11. We were up big nine at the half and really in control of the game. We knew, like every game, the opposing team is going to make a run, most especially when it's in their home venue. Vanderbilt's a proud program. A program's had a lot of success. And as I said earlier, they don't lose many games in that building. We knew they were going to make a run. Inside, Damian Jones and muscles it in. Odom fires a three and hands it. And the Commodores have scratched back to within seven. There's Fuller on the run out. And the layup. Commodores are down only five. White, bottom of the net. He tells the crowd to be quiet as he backpedals down the floor. It was, it was just in the moment, you know. 
you know, like I said, the crowd got into it, and I feel like in, anybody could have made the play. And it, it, uh, you know, Marshall Henderson would have shot the three point or made a, or made a play. You know, I, I'm quite sure he would have did something to the crowd too, to, to, just to bring the momentum down. You know, because the momentum, like I said, is it, it can get to you and, and bring and bring a game down. Only 12 points for Ole Miss here in the second half, and over 11 minutes of play has allowed Vanderbilt to get back in this ball game. Seven on the shot clock. To the basket, and the reverse in by Damian Jones. And Vanderbilt, once down by 13, has cut it to two. Siakam gives Vanderbilt the lead. It's their first lead since they led 5-4 in the opening two minutes and 48 seconds. By them coming back, we, we just feel like we got it too comfortable with our league and playing not to lose instead of playing to win. With under 10 minutes to play, had to fight through some adversity and make some plays. Jarvis Summers continues to do that for us. Made a couple of huge baskets at the rim. Anthony Perez off a couple of drives. And then the next thing you know, it's a one possession game. We're back in the league. In transition off a loose ball, uh, Marshall got free, got a clean look at the basket and knocked down a big three. And then, as I will have the tendency to do, if I see him hit one, we're, the next time down, we're going to try to run something, give him a clean look. We ran some action and executed it pretty well. Got him the same look at the same spot, and he delivered. Through. Henderson rising, can he? There he goes. <laughs> There he goes, nine point lead for the Rebels. That's our basketball, like we are right there with the other team until something crazy happened and boom, that's our moment. That's what we like. Ole Miss, next game, they'll be playing Mississippi State on Saturday. The Tad Pads already sold out for the rematch there after Mississippi State, the only team to beat the Rebels in conference play. Henderson, ahead it comes to Aaron Jones and Aaron Jones stops it. That will do it. The Ole Miss Rebels have defeated Vanderbilt 63-52. Jarvis Summers leads the Rebels with 16 points. Anthony Perez, 13 and five rebounds. Marshall Henderson, 11 points. Uh, our guys, having been in so many close games, never flinched. Uh, continued to grind away offensively and defensively. We were solid the entire game. Held them to 52 points, some 15 points under their season average, and were able to uh, to uh, manufacture enough baskets in order to give us a chance to win on the road. Side to side, let's go. Get yourself going, Duran. Let's go. Let's go. We're loose. Game shots. Whatever it is, just keep it consistent. Make shots. Good. Make them all. Let's go. That's your craft, Janari. Make every shot. Keep your head up. Atta boy, look at your target. Balance. Hey, get your drink so we can play. Let's go. Whatever you got to do, let's go, shorty. Hey, you guys got your reversibles. Put your reversibles on. Let's go. You want to do it, freshman? All right, let's go, all freshmen. All the freshmen against the other ones. Let's go. So they want. Let's go. Good, 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 good. Back. Back. Higher. Good, dead. Play. Good, good, good. Play. Hedge it. Talk to him. Bear, push him into it. Get in front of him. Stay in front of him. Good, Derek. Hold up a minute. Hold up a minute. Dwight, you tired? You can't pick when you play hard, Dwight. You got to play hard all the time. You got to get used to playing harder. Good, Dwight. Better. Get, good. On your feet. Get in a stance. Good. It's a good basket, Dwight. Good move. Good move. Don't hold your dribble, son. Good, good, good. Be active. Pull it. Good shot, Bear. Recover. Get back to your man. Hold up a minute, Derek. Did you want it freshman against sophomores? You guys wanted it, right? Let's go. Hold up. Hold up. We give you space to get through. Get through. You know what I'm saying? Talk, Dwight. Talk to him. Good shot, son. Game. Get a drink. We're tied 2-2. Let's go. Freshman get the ball. Freshman get the ball. Let's go. Hey, Nate, 20 seconds on that shot clock. One, let's go. Up to five. Winner wins, loser runs. We're trying to learn offense and defense. We're trying to learn how to play, move, react. You can't catch get Casper here. There's a ghost here. There's a player here. Catch him. Come on now. Pull it. Game. Hey, good job. Way to compete. You got to get better. You got to get better. You got to get better. Got to work. Hey, you're not going to get better by pouting or listening to the internet or Bobby calling you or your ex-high school coach or your old girlfriend. 
You're gonna get better being in the gym. All right, get better. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Win on three, win on three. One, two, three, win. Let's go, give me a 22. Let's go, the three losers. Freshman, you wanted it. It was close. Good job, go lift, let's go, go lift. Get something to drink, go lift. All right, here we go, man. Let's turn the page real quickly. Guys, personnel, which is the most important thing in this game. Um, Coach touched on it last night. I thought you guys did as good a job personnel-wise as we've done all year. But in this game, it may have been as bad. So let's get locked in. Let's shore that up. Get ready to get a win on Saturday. I cut. Good pull up. He's got a good feel. He knows how to, he'll get out and push and transition, really trying to run the team. We got to get the ball stopped and we got to keep him from driving. If he catches it two feet in the lane, he's going to score it. We cannot let him come in here and play harder than us. Against us, they shot 42 free throws. We shot 12. Last night against Auburn, they shot 43 free throws. Auburn oh, shot 13. Mm -hmm. They had 11 steals, man. We cannot turn the ball over. I told you the stat. When we turn the ball over 12 or less, we're 10 and 0. Haven't lost. Can't get behind this run back. That was off with a missed dunk. Snoop, get that. Saturday, I want you to get that ball. Stay with it. You have to be aggressive. Watch it, watch it so we can learn. Look at the gaps in it, man. Look at us, man, we're almost getting a backcourt violation. <laughs> Drive it in there. Stop it, go back. Do you see that, guys? Hold on, here's what we gotta do a better job of, Coach. You ought to be sealing him right now, you gotta dunk him. Look at you, look at that. Catch it, look, that's a lob dunk. I just want you to see it. Something we can do about this one, but we can do something about it Saturday. Look at this, go. Look at Bear right there, seal Bear. Look at Bear right there. Y'all gotta put your body on people, Bill. Gotta see the game, man. We're gonna see it again if we don't if we don't handle it right. Y'all see this <coughs> after they beat us last year? Or at the last game, this is what this is how they reacted. You guys see this? You see it? Right to them. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it means to them. That's what it means to them. That's what it means to them. Let's get locked in. Let's get the five and one. Keep stacking them up. Hey, man, every game you got to stack them. You ain't got time to look. Let's look forward. Look forward to the next opportunity. Sell out crowd at home. Let's do what we're supposed to do. Back here, hey, we're in Tad Pad tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Get them up. Hey, y'all know what we got to do, man. We owe you, boys, man. Y'all going to get some rest tonight, but y'all know we got to get it tomorrow, man. Family on three. One, two, three, five. Hey, Department A1, you know what I'm saying? The best letter number combination you can have. Grand Prix, stunting on them. Smell good. It's really, a, besides it being Ole Miss versus State, it's a, it's a huge game because we're four and one and they're three and two. So it, for, for standing purposes, you know, forget the rivalry. It's it's a huge game, and you know we got to get a revenge. They've got us the last two times we played them. And we got a sellout crowd. That's what's up. I'm excited, excited about that. Get it rocking. We always want to make sure we win these these sellout games so that way we keep selling back out. We also know we need this one because next Wednesday we go to go to go to Knoxville playing at Tennessee. That's gonna be a big one, you know. And then South Carolina, then going to Kentucky. We gotta stack them up while we can. Pull up, talk to this dude. What's up, man? Marshall Henderson, player, Ole Miss Rebels. Okay, I got you. Cool, appreciate it. Doing all right today? Yeah, I'm good. You good? Yeah. Stay warm. Yeah. It is a nice day out, though. Yeah, it is. Good grief. Yeah, I swear it was freezing. <laughs> How y'all doing? Hi, Marshall. See What's up, man? Appreciate it. Come on in, step on in. And we walk on in. Nice vibe. Boom. Going with the white jerseys I see today. Ooh. 
I might wear these shoes. I'm doing it. Perfect Saturday afternoon greeted the sellout crowd at Tad Smith Coliseum for the rematch of the Rebels and the Bulldogs. For Mississippi State, the game represented the invaluable road win. For the homestanding Rebels, it meant a little more. We wanted our guys to understand the importance of the game, first and foremost, in protecting your home floor. Secondly, as, as we were sitting there at four and one going into the state game, that was our only loss. So we wanted to make amends for that. The rivalry game, when you think Mississippi State Ole Miss, many times people think Egg Bowl, they think season ending. But in basketball, the emphasis has to be a little different, but simply because you play every three days. We knew the importance of it. I got a lot of Mississippians on my team. Our kids live in the same community that you and I live. So they understood the, the importance of it to, to Rebel Nation. And I was glad that we were able to give them something to be excited about. Jarvis Summers with the first bucket of the game. White again. Rick Ray is going to have to take a timeout. And the joint is jumping. and went down, but it was Aaron Jones who put it down. Ware whistled for that last foul though. And Henderson with the head fake went up with it. Let's see if he gets the three. They got it over to Aaron Jones and he knocked it down. Derek Millinghouse, tough play in at the other end. And Summers gets it to go. As good as the pass was, the Rebel defense even better. Uh, I feel like we defended real well. That that's uh, that was the main key, the defending. You know, running them off shots. We got off to a great start. I got the the emotion of the building. It was a sellout crowd, our best of the season. Uh, a lot of energy in the building, and we wanted to give them something to be excited about. I thought we came out with a great approach. We jumped to an early lead. I think we got it to 10 within the first seven, eight minutes, and Mississippi State never got it back into single digits the remainder of the game. Perez thought about it. Play better. Wow. That's a tough shot. And then Sebastian Saez gets the stick back. Half times we were saying, okay, we're leading by 12 or 11, I don't know how was it, but we want more. We don't want to beat it by six, we want to beat it by 30. So Mississippi State with the first possession of the second half. And immediately, Ole Miss comes up with a turnover.
Rebels would not look back in the second half, bullying the Dogs into a 19-point loss in Oxford. What you're supposed to look like. Mark's gonna say, look at his face. Then he broke his hand. There. I had surgery. Hey, that is a perfect example of how quickly, man. How quickly. That's why you can never, ever take for granted opportunities. Never take this for granted. Every game you never know. You've lived it, I've lived it. Broke his hand. You know. That's why you have to be on the point at all times. That's why we need everybody. It's gotta be everybody. It's a good win. It's a good win. You played hard. Made some foul shots, out rebounding by 11, kept our turnovers uh, under 10. Say for a couple of mental lapses, it was, a, it was about an eight in the second half. Yeah. This is what we're supposed to do. Oh, man. This is what it's supposed to do. Too, we're, we're at five and one. That's where we're supposed to be. In my mind, we're still one under. We're still one under. Yeah. That's who we are, man. That's who we are. And all I've asked you, man, all I've asked you guys is to play to your potential. Let's play to our potential. That can't happen collectively unless individually each and every one of you are playing to your potential. So you have to ask yourself that. If you're playing to your potential and you're playing to your potential, then it's about us and we're a pretty good team. Right? Right? You control you, though. You control you each and every day. Energy was good. Focus was good. We were the tougher team. Good job. Get them up. Let's go. I mean, I'm going to say, man, stay together. One, two, three. Together.